hello guys welcome back to another tutorial on Clue 3d and in this tutorial we are going to be creating an embossed logo but before we begin don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more tutorial so let's begin the first thing we are going to need in this process is photoshop just make sure you have photoshop on your system so this is my photoshop then what i'll do is to import my graphics on photoshop so okay let me use this graphic here also make sure that if there's extra space around your um, graphics like if you have extra space that your graphics is not um placed on that your graphics is not containing sorry just try to crop it and make it closer to the graphics something just try to crop it and make it closer to the graphic and also make sure the graphics you'll be using must be in a transparent background and if you need a software to create a transparent background for your graphics just go to remove.bg upload your graphics there and apply it and it's going to clear the background from your graphics so you need that one for the first um, part then the second part is to create a displacement uh, map for this um, graphics so what i would do first is to i just create a box here so um bring it down i'll change the color to white yes so um i think it's okay the second is to apply so select the first layer and select the second layer and let us match it so we're going to right click and we're going to match the layer so so that's it then the next thing we'll do is to sorry let's go to filter I'm going to 3D. I'm going to um, generate bump map. So let's wait for it. So select this sphere to um, cube. So this is it here. So um, this value is the value I use to create. Um, um, displacement map for some graphics so you can also apply it to your own um design and this is the height map but because this is closer i think i will need to make some a little adjustment to come in so all you need to do is just to play around with the figure and make sure it's not too blurry come in Finish. so make sure you are looking at this side here this is where and this side here so i'll make sure it's not too blurry Think this is not bad yes so now let's see this i don't think i will need to touch the high part so i feel this is okay for the um graphics so um i'm going to select okay okay so okay and then we're going to save this yes. so um indo this so clear select okay and then we'll go back to clue then we'll import the graphics of the indo so so uh, Okay. Which we using this is what we use. So I'll we'll use this. I'll place it. Let's see. Yes. Place it here. But it's too small. <coughs> okay. I will use it a bit. It's too big. So select this double yes so let us select it go to the property editor this is where we add our displacement map so this is displacement map here open it then i'm going to change the amounts to three and change the particle distance to one so go to uh you don't see the effect here so you have to render so boom so 
so this is it here as you can see our logo is looking embossed yeah let me zoom closer for you to see the result so this is it here our logo is looking embossed as you can see the edges coming let me zoom closer so that we can see more detailing about the logo so um this is how to create an embossed um logo on um clo 3d so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more video thank you